Hey everyone, welcome to Figure Fantasy. So we're now with our second brand review, which is going to be Tenma. So without further ado, let's dive into this one. First and foremost, I'm going to run through all of the positions and what they have. Then discuss brand allies that could be played with them. So by the way, this is just my opinion and that is just a disclaimer for this video. Also, I'm going to point out some advantages for the faction or for the, the brand and their needs. And the last one is what are we expecting from the brand um, in terms of reinforcements who are coming in. Okay, so first and foremost, let us start with the defenders. So definitely, Crucius has to be mentioned um, top three among defenders um we, we by the way we only have three so um in terms of the yellow classification so he's actually excellent as long as you invest him invest on him more accuracy for his kit okay next up is going to be vanguard so first vanguard is going to be yamazaki yamazaki I'm, this guy intrigues me a bit. Um, I haven't had the time to build him. I have, uh, I'm guilty of actually sacrificing copies of him for other figures. So that is why I haven't really played him much. I'd like to build him, hopefully. And I'm, I'm actually interested in dealing damage to the backline. So I think Yamazaki is uh, worth building. But for now, I'm actually reserving my opinion for him. Him. Next is going to be Alfred. So Alfred, before our next Vanguard came out, he was the staple for Tenma. So Lifesteal um, survives pretty much very well. But again, he doesn't. He he's good with Lifesteal more than damage dealing. Um, but again, he was kind of eclipsed by Rin, but not that much. Okay, the problem with Rin is, for me, she's good with lifesteal and the, the, the damage that she gives. But she doesn't have much HP, I think, to survive. That is actually my... Kind of sometimes my gripe with her. It really depends on the build anyway. So, those are the three vanguards. Next is going to be our staple for um, our militarist, which is Vazerwin. Vazerwin was one of my top picks when I started. Um, I love very much how she is built, how she looks like. Um, really, really badass in terms of the design of her character. Okay, so our next militarist is probably the most iconic of them all, which is Zarola, um, queen of DPS. Uh, when we started, now she is kind of a competition with uh, Miko. Um, she, you know, a lot of militarists are catching up to her in terms of DPS. So again, but she's still your old reliable. I have her at five diamonds already. I, I love how she carried my team from the start up until now, and definitely one of the best. One of the best militarists or one of the best um, figures that we have in our game right now. So next up is our specialist. I'll start with the ones that we don't use that often, which is Arena. Um, don't really mind her. Um, it's 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 a shame because she she you know she rides a mech, but definitely needs a rework. Next is Sani. Sani, there are, you know. I'm 50-50 on her. She's sometimes she's good in some scenarios, sometimes she's not. So again, um, she would be very situational in your team and uh, kind of, kind of, you know, good with from your start up to the mid game level. But moving up, I don't think she will be. Um, she will be eclipsed actually by a lot of specialists uh, coming in. And the recent um, addition that we have was uh, Vivian. So Vivian, a recent addition to Tenma family, uh, kind of also 50-50 with her. Although she does good AOE damage for a specialist, but 
uh, still not still not convinced yet on um, how good she is. She's probably good with a tier, but definitely that is that could be her you know her max cap in terms of tiering. Okay, in terms of um, healers, uh, Tenma has one or two of the best healers in the game. Number one is going to be Mako. So Mako, she, her heals are a bit quick but small. And her other counterpart, which is Zephyr, which is one of the best, one of the best characters or figures I say in this game. Hands down. In terms of support, in terms of healing, in terms of energy, she can be splashed with any team, no problem. She really does wonders for your team. So it wouldn't be a waste if you, you know, focus on her, if you have her. The best healer in the game now, definitely. Okay, so in terms of other brand allies, definitely you can bring Zuki Liang. So one one of you know one of the the figurines that can be splashed as well with any lineup, and I'm going to pick I Aquino, which uh, dropped recently. Most of you guys have her at the high level, so she's a very good support with Tenma. I usually pair her with um, with Zarola, and both of them do wonders at the back. Both are militarists. Okay, so what are the advantages of Tenma over others? So number one, I'm going to point out their helpers. Their helpers are one of the best. Oh, sorry, two of the best at this point. So no helpers that can rival them. Sometimes I use them both in my team. Um, also, they have been a powerhouse uh, brand since launch. So no kidding about Tenma. If you want something that you can rely on, Tenma is it. But my concern is that they're kind of being over, you know, they're they're about to be overtaken by um, Let's Red. So um, they're now at par with Let's Red, but definitely they will be overtaken by Let's Red uh, in the near future, Galatea is also waiting for other um, other reinforcements as well. So we'll see which faction has an edge in the months to come. Okay, so needs for this faction definitely a specialist. They only have Sani, Vivian, and Irina for now. I don't think the three of them can really be great as a specialist under Tenma, but. When I've seen the reinforcements coming in, I'm not sure if they're going to be reinforced that much. So, um, reinforcements for Tenma. Let me just pull this one out. Okay, so you have Crocell. Crocell is a militarist for Tenma. Um, a lot of been, <laughs> I've been asking, when is she coming out already? So, I'm not sure yet, but definitely she's the one that we are... Um, getting for Tenma and the other one is going to be Deer. This girl is the one that I've been waiting for. I'm going to replace Crucis with her definitely when she comes out. I really, really like the way she is done. The artwork, the, the endowments. <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm really looking forward to getting her as a defender. I'm gonna take her to five diamonds if I can. So that is it for Tenma. So Tenma is still at the top, prop, tied with uh, Let's Red, but I'm actually kind of worried that they won't. They don't have enough reinforcements moving, you know, moving forward. Probably because they're already very good as a faction or as a brand. But definitely, they still need help. Spe um, Specialist-wise, Vanguard kinda-wise, Militarist and Helper, they're good. And when they get this girl, definitely the Defender spot will be, will be very, very good. So that is it, guys, for our um, brand review for Tenma. So hope you guys had... Uh, appreciated the information uh, for this one uh, right now 
how they're doing and moving forward what they will be getting so anyway guys if you're still here please do consider subscribing to my channel because again this helps me a lot helps my channel a lot and helps me create better videos uh, by you just supporting me and again guys take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here